Hello, I'm just waiting for the International Space Station to appear in the sky. It's supposed to be almost directly overhead where I am at the moment, so it should be a pretty good pass. If all the predictions go as planned, oh, see that star that just went behind the clouds? Somewhere a little bit above there is where it should appear at 19 degrees elevation. So it'll be in the lower middle of the screen in about 20, 20 seconds from now. It's a pity there's that little bit of cloud there. But that's the only cloud that's going to be in the path of it. 10 seconds. Oh yeah, there it is. So now, right now is where it's supposed to appear. Ah oh, yeah, <laughs> quite punctual, isn't it? It was maybe one or two seconds earlier than I had expected to see it. But once it's in view, wow, you can't miss it. See if I can zoom in. Hmm. Not really much to see other than just sort of a bright spot. Zoom back out. So this night mode that I'm using of my camera, wow that's getting quite bright. The night mode of this video camera stacks a few consecutive frames to make a sort of a long exposure effect I think which is why you see the movement, it doesn't look like it's moving very smoothly but it is of course this is what happens when I try and hold the camera in my hand, actually it's not that bad yeah well I guess this is all this <laughs> all there is to see but it is quite impressive how all these predictions, I've been waiting for this one for a while. Actually, there's one tomorrow that I want to try and film. It's going to go across in front of the sun. Uh, the moon, sorry. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to catch it, but I'll give it a try. And the one tomorrow I've actually been waiting for for about a month. And it's just, I'm just really impressed at how they can predict these things down to the second so far in advance. But I guess they have to be able to because <clears throat> the way that this thing moves there is people's lives depending on these calculations being accurate. Six people I think at the moment on there. My, my Xiaomi Yi is over there taking 30 second time lapse photos of this too so I'll put some of those on the screen here and you can see what it looked like. Okay, it's about 20 minutes before the predicted lunar transit and I've come out to a road in the middle of nowhere which is about 100 meters away from the direct center of where the, I guess it would be the line between the center of the moon and the space station uh, would be projected down to on Earth. So in theory the space station should go right across the middle of the moon from this point. This transit, by the way, is at about 5 degrees elevation, so it's quite low in the sky, meaning that it's a long, long way away. It's actually going to be 1,800 kilometers away. So I'm not really expecting to be able to make out the shape of the space station, but I should be able to see it just as a little black dot as it goes across the moon. Oh, there's a cloud there. Damn it. Look at that. Um, but the other thing about this transit is that um, the nice thing about it being so far away and so low in the sky is that it's going to be quite long, approximately four seconds, which is good. Give you a little bit more time to look at it, hopefully. Ten seconds. Five. Damn it. Can't see anything. <laughs> So I guess maybe my telescope's just not good enough. Or the combination of my telescope and the camera and the distance that it is away 
and there's a quite a thick fog building up now too. Anyway, that's a bit disappointing, but I can't say I wasn't expecting it really. It was a bit of a long shot. And I'm just glad I didn't drive too far to get here. See this fog? You get a lot of fog here like this. Anyway, this is the setup I was using. Can't see too well on this screen, it's uh, just a analog view. And this one shows things a little bit better. That's the Xiaomi Yi Wi-Fi app. And I was just using that to let me see when it was going to happen. So it's six minutes ago it should have happened. So if it hasn't happened now, well, we must have just missed it. That's a bummer. Oh well. Need some better equipment and, and a better better elevation like like up there instead of down way down there. Oh well, try again some other time I guess.